After saying goodbye to Bali, our ship is headed towards the beautiful Australian coast. We have two days at sea before we reach Darwin. And look at this, the crew is getting ready for Easter celebration in dining room. Looks so exciting. Did you ask for two? Then uh, one chocolate for my wife. One chocolate? Looks like big poo. <laughs> Oh, isn't this adorable? During the day they are learning how to dance and just look at them in the evening. By the way, I promised to show you highlights from the night shows, so get comfortable and enjoy the fun. Oh, wow, aren't they amazing? And guess what? You can even be a part of the show with live band karaoke. On the way to Australia, right? Very pretty sunset. Good morning, Darwin, Australia. Sunrise in Australia. That's our big, big ship and our buses. 
On this bus excursion, our aim is to immerse ourselves in Australian nature. We will witness mounds built by termites, behold breathtaking waterfalls and hopefully encounter zero crocodiles. The termites meticulously built their mounds using a combination of saliva, soil and other materials, often creating complex structures that can reach impressive heights. Uh, they create it with their mucus, they, they pulp the wood yeah. into concrete like structure. So what you say on the grand like they built it. They built it. They built it. What did you learn else about these termites? They eat all the detritus soil. So then it goes back into the soil and plants can grow. The mound is like a fan. Like a fan? Mm -hmm. Or south fan. Next stop is Wangi Falls. Where you can see a little bit of waterfall. Do you see? Yeah. There. You can hear the noise of the waterfalls. Fortunately, swimming closed. But it's so cool, it's so cool. No crocodiles yet? Can be there, right? Crocodile shopping program in progress. Welcome to Tolmer Falls. Another water falls. So we barely can see it, huh? So it's a nice walkway on the ocean. Found the place where you can swim with no crocodiles. Zero. Oh, sheep looks so big. Huge one. Warm. Good taste. Yeah, it's warm. Warm enough. And salty. Although we didn't get to explore Darwin itself, the natural beauty surrounding the area was truly mesmerizing. Now, as we are heading back to the cruise ship, it feels like the perfect time to relax in the hot tub on the top deck. So see you at our next destination after another two days at sea.